How's everything going today guys? My name is Copycat, and over the history of my channel, I've made several videos on many great hiding spots in Luigi's Balloon World. However, in this video, I'm going to compile all the amazing spots I've found in one video, and show you every single best hiding spot in every kingdom. Some of these spots are relatively simple, and can be reached by just about anyone. Some are so hard to find that even the best finders have difficulty getting to them. Just a note, not all these videos are my clips, so I will credit the hiders videos and the channels in the description below. The Mushroom Kingdom is relatively small, but still has a few great hiding spots that can be extremely difficult to get to. The first of these involve traveling backwards towards the Odyssey and using hidden coin to extend the run. From here, there are a few hiding spots you can use in this area. The second type of hiding spot in this kingdom is on top of the tall turrets which can actually be reached in several different ways. I really had no clue how many coins were there. The Cap Kingdom is really interesting as there's a lot of fog covering its outskirts, meaning there's a lot of places you can hide your balloon. There are a few other nooks and crannies hidden amongst the kingdom, but by far the best has to be using the coin run to your advantage. Here are a few combinations you can use. However, by far my favorite has to be using the frog to get on top of the secret coin block area. The Cascade Kingdom doesn't have any real impossible to get to hiding spots, but it does have a few that will give the finder a bit of a challenge. There is one coin route in this kingdom, and from here you can hide your balloon in several different spots. Just take a look. The Sand Kingdom is one of the most expansive in the entire game, meaning there are a lot of great hiding spots here. There are a few right near the starting point where the finder needs to get there quickly and efficiently.
In turn, you can also do the opposite by trying to get as far away from the starting point as possible. There are also two prominent coin routes that you can use, and the first starts just below the tower. Just watch. The second coin route goes in the opposite direction towards the western portion of the kingdom. From here, there are several amazing spots you can place the balloon. For a pretty simple kingdom, there are actually many great hiding spots that will all challenge the finder. The first involves hiding the balloon on top of the area next to the starting point. The next all involve getting coins and capturing the cheap cheap along the way. Just take a look. My favorite of these has to be the hidden cliff ledge that you can access by jumping from the coin blocks. There's also this other one that's actually a lot harder. You can also go under the water and hide it a bit farther away from the starting point, but it is a little easier to find. The best spot has to be the painting skip area that will definitely take a few tries to get to. If you can do it without using the scarecrow, then you're literally insane.
The Woody Kingdom is full of different levels and hidden areas, so there are plenty of hiding spots here. There are many examples of this, like behind the rock wall, on top of this ledge, in the tree or on the tree branch, on the side of this tower, far off on the distant platform, and many, many more. There are actually two really complicated coin routes, so here they are. Now, there's a lot of variety with both of these, and they can actually be combined in a pretty insane way. The Lost Kingdom is another one that's actually pretty small, but has tons of great hiding spots. This includes the Captain Toad Cave area, this tunnel, inside the mountain, in a tree, and far away on the isolated island. There are also two coin runs in the Lost Kingdom, one that's relatively simple, and one that's extremely complicated. Just take a look. The Metro Kingdom is one of the most complex in the entire game, with many skyscrapers, all with different levels where you can hide your balloon. The most simple involve finding spots that are either hard to reach or hide the balloon from view. Here are a few. With some more advanced techniques, you can get to some very interesting spots.
There are also a few coin runs that allow you to hide your balloon far away in a small amount of time. The Snow Kingdom is definitely the smallest in the entire game, however the heavy blizzard does block the finder's view, making it a bit more difficult. There are a few spots like on the side of the cliff walls, inside this tunnel, on the scarecrow platform, behind the giant pillar, and on top of the ice. But the best spot, however, has to be on top of the painting skip cliff, but I've seen this guy put it even higher than this. The Seaside Kingdom is very complex, as it has both water and land elements where you can hide your balloon. Some of the more simpler spots include on the side of the palace, on Captain Toad's Cliff, under the Scarecrow Trap Door, deep in the ocean floor, hidden within the boxes, on the Painting Skip Cliff, and there's many, many more. Now of course, the very best hiding spots in this kingdom all involve the help of the coin route, which is super difficult to nail properly. Just take a look at how much time you can actually save getting to some of these spots. The Luncheon Kingdom is by far my favorite because of the large variety of areas for you to hide your balloon. A good idea is to capture the Pababo and put your balloon somewhere in the lava. Here are a few of those places. You can also capture the Pambro and hide your balloon within one of those cheese blocks, which will definitely confuse the finder. There are also a few other hidden areas you can get to, but if you're really skillful, then you can immediately go left and hide your balloon either on top of the purple cliffs or just over them. Either way, this will take you many tries. Of course, there are a few coin runs you can do, and one that will send you right up the mountain.
Now remember, all these spots we already looked at can also be combined with the coin route. Bowser's Kingdom is extremely expansive, meaning it's full of great hiding spots. Even right from the starting point, there's many places that are difficult to get to. Things start to get really interesting when you use the upper roofs to get farther away to isolated buildings or other rooftops that would otherwise be difficult to get to. Coin roots start to get involved when you try to hide your balloon a lot farther away from the starting area. My favorite is reached by using the statue, but there are many others. The last kingdom in this video is also one that's completely out of place in this game. That's because the Moon Kingdom has a lot lower gravity, which allows Mario to jump higher and farther, but he moves a lot slower. Now there are a few decent hiding spots here, but pretty much everyone does go through some sort of coin route, so just take a look.
Alright, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I really hope you did enjoy this one. If you did, please leave a like. If I left any balloons out, which I'm not sure if I did, I don't think I did, then leave it in the comments below. Also, go check out Melos' channel. I did use a few of his videos. He is a Japanese creator, so you might not understand what he's saying, but he does have some really cool videos that will help you out with Luigi's Balloon World and Super Mario Maker, so just go check him out. And if you guys haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. It would really support me and, you know, just help me out in the future when YouTube changes over to what it's going to be like in 2020. Hope you guys all have a good day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.